And welcome everybody, uh, Don Giannetti here from Lighting-Essentials.com and Project52ProSystem.com where you can learn to be a full-on commercial photographer in a year. A lot of hard work, lots of hard work, but it can be done. We've got lots of people who've done it. But let's jump into this because this is what makes this photo great. It's number 18. I've been doing these little things where... I'm presenting a kind of a, a little short synopsis of photographers who were inspired me. This is not a top photographers of the world. There's a lot of great photographers out there who weren't necessarily inspiring to me, but these photographers were. These are the photographers. I remember seeing their work the first time. I remember being blown away the first time. Uh, and I, and I, I remember how how I was able to think through photographs from their perspective once I got to know what they were doing. Uh, it was really exciting times when you're, when you're first out there. Well, today we're going to talk about, good gosh, she, uh, she blew on the scene with a bunch of Calvin Klein uh, ads. I believe they were Calvin Klein. Somebody's going to correct me and say, no, Don, they were Jordash or whatever the hell they were. It doesn't really matter, but it was jeans and uh, amazing stuff. And this particular photo of Claudia Schiffer, I remember this photograph running in Vogue. I remember it because it just absolutely snapped my head. First of all, you have to understand a lot of fashion photographers were having, you know, every hair was in place, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, Ellen Von Unworth shook that up. Let's talk about how. Um, Ellen's, Ellen's girls, I would say, uh, Ellen's women are flirtatious. They're on the edge. Uh, they're very sexy. They're very um, playful. They're constantly wanting to move. Uh, Ellen was a model herself for 10 years. And one of the things that she hated about modeling was, and you see it today, you see it every damn time you turn on uh, YouTube and see some guy, gal shooting models. The models are stiff. They're 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 holding to the wall. They're not moving. They're they're just and it's like I'm sorry. That's not the way it's done. If you've ever seen models working for Patrick or Arthur or Ellen, you'll see that's not how it's done. That's just boring shit. So what we have here is. This young lady is interacting with whether it's a mirror or glass or whatever. She's interacting. She's moving. I guarantee if you are on the set, she's playfully coming in and, and kissing the, the window. She's laughing. She's backing up. She's up on one leg. She's making great faces. That's how Ellen worked. And it changed the system. It changed the way people were photographing. And Arthur had been doing it. Peter had been doing it. Um, uh, Several other photographers had been doing it on a on a smaller scale, but uh, Ellen, that's all she did. She got her girls in front of the camera and got them moving, got them doing something, being excited and very sexy. Ellen's girls are in heels. Ellen's girls are wild hair. Not every hair in place. There's another great shot, I believe, of of Claudia. Uh, look at the hair. I mean, just all over the place. You know, I see I see fashion photography today, and it's a style. So let me understand. Let me make this myself really clear. It's a style, and that makes it fine. It's not my style. I don't like uh, women quaffed to the nines, where every hair is. You know, and they I've seen these things where they take every hair is like perfect and sprayed down with eighteen tons of freaking hairspray, and they got birds' nests planted in them, and they've got some gaudy French 16th century looking dress and they're standing there like mannequins and I'm like so uninterested in that. It's just so boring for me. This is so exciting. Claudia is is doing something. She's standing up. She's sitting down. She's doing, moving all over the place. The place. I had the pleasure, the exciting pleasure of watching Ellen work for about a half an hour in New York City. I didn't know who it was at the time. I found out later but I was knocked out how the photographer kept the models just in motion all the time. The time I got to see Patrick um, photograph in New York, same thing. 
models were in motion all the time. They never stopped. I think it's one of the telltale signs of an immature model and an immature photographer when the model does a pose and stops and waits for the click. I'm not going to go into it, but it's just boring shit. I don't, I don't do that. I don't recommend you do it. I'm not going to go into it now. We'll go into it some other time. This, this photographer, Ellen, changed the world, man. Just changed the world. Look at this pose. This is crazy stuff. Even Arthur wasn't doing stuff like this. Arthur's girls were dancers. Patrick's girls were uh, accessible but aloof. Uh, Ellen's girls are like right there. Right there. Being silly, being goofy, doing poses that are, are off the wall. Don't you just love this shot? What's wrong with this shot? Nothing's wrong with this shot. Look at the face. It's just incredible. Incredible. Look at the bend that she's got in her body and her feet pointing out. Look at the toes pointing. Everything in here is so orchestrated. It's just absolutely stunning. Uh, this shot, uh, I remember this shot. Uh, Ellen's, Ellen's locations were, were always places where um, anything could happen. Uh, there would be you know, people around, kids around. It was a real world. And her, and her girls would be working within the scene working within the picture where this the set was was so important it's just a great shot we're going to look at this shot this shot is probably one of the, the earliest shots that really set her apart and look at the hair it's blowing and look at the back she's got that little thing in the back do you see that uh, apparently I can't use my little uh, thingy up there. Anyway, we got a little line coming this way and then a line going this way. Do you see this right through here? Boom. Look at that beautiful slight S curve. Of course, you're, you're talking about Claudia Schiffer, one of the best models who ever stood in front of a camera. Believe me, believe me, she was. And don't you love the little bit of hair across the eye? Isn't that incredible? Isn't that just, just knocks me out. The face, the hair, the pose, the the, uh, the flash outside, kind of nighttime. She would do that. She doesn't try to hide the fact that it's a flash. She's fine with the flash. Um, and I said Ellen's girls were a little bit crazy, a little bit wild, a little bit uninhibited, kind of like this. Ellen's girls were always way beyond the edge of proprietary. Um, you could take uh, Ellen's girls and put them up against uh, uh, other other uh, photographers, oh, like uh, like Sarah Moon or some of the other uh, French photographers who were very soft. I mean, Sarah's girls didn't do this. Sarah Moon's girls, they were prim, they were proper, they were very ladylike. It was very elegant stuff. On the other hand, Ellen's girls were way off into the into the playful, sexy, over-the-top stuff. She wanted the, the images to look fun and to be fun and to be something different. So she tried poses that were way out of the mainstream. We've seen one. How about this one? Now, uh, these shoes, I think I probably know why she's laying down. These shoes would probably put her into another, uh, you know, stratosphere or something. But... Um, uh, Look at that! Look at the set. It's not fancy. It's a, like a local pool or something right there. But Ellen comes in with her strobes and her reflectors and just lights it up, and just, and has the the young lady laying down on her back, stretching up. It's a very erotic fo uh, photograph, and yet she's covered in a in a, a rubber uh, swimsuit, wet wetsuit looking thing. Very very amazing photograph. This was another one that uh, uh, I think captures the. Um, the amazing, the amazing uh, capriciousness of of uh, of Ellen. She she wanted it to be, you know, fun and crazy. And they're at an old, you know, deserted gas station, probably, you know, Mojave Desert or somewhere, and they're just playing. It's uh, it, it started a style. Now we're you're looking at pictures that are are a bit old, but it started an incredible style that we still have going um, for the for some part. Uh, this young lady, 
Notice the use of the wide angle lens. Do you see that? Do you see the wide angle lens being used in, uh, which one was it up here? Uh, a bit of a wide angle lens look in here. Look at this. Look at the wide angle lens. I mean, everybody else in the business is using the long telephotos. Uh, and Ellen's coming in with some nice wide angle. Look, we're looking up at the glasses up there. and We're looking down on this young lady's silver gold shoes or whatever it is. Look at the lighting. It's poppy. It looks all, It looks very contemporary. Looks like maybe it came from a flash on the camera. Obviously, it didn't. It saw shadows, but it's really lit, right? Probably, I'm going to go out on a limb and say probably either one or two very large umbrellas. Uh, there's, I, It's too small for me to see, but it kind of looks like there's two, two uh, highlights up there. So uh, probably a, a large, powerful umbrella up to the left and a smaller umbrella just to the right to fill all this in. Notice these shadows are not going dark. Um, consummate lighting professional. She really, really knows her stuff. And look at this great pose. Look at this great pose. It breaks tradition. This this young lady isn't doing the S-curve. Do you see that? She's not going head cocked this way, shoulders down through here and back over here. It's just a, like hanging at the bar, man. Just kind of being one with the crowd. This is everything Von Unworth tries to do is to present extraordinary women in very ordinary settings. Okay? This is a a newer shot, but so much an Ellen shot. Just absolutely so much. Look at the hair. You know, it's swept back. Look at the, the, the lipstick, the mustache. She's playing with her lips, with her tongue out. She's playing with a knife. Um, this is a uh, not proper behavior, you know, for a uh, you know, fancy New York eatery. And look at the light. The light is poppy, bright, snappy, probably not softbox. Look at the look at the light right under her chin. Probably not softbox. Maybe a beauty dish, maybe something even smaller. Highlights in the drinks indicate they probably got some sort of small flash thing going on. And then it it's so well angled and so well done that we don't get the the telltale shadows of the nose shadow and the famous you know lip shadow and all that stuff everything is is designed in Ellen's pictures to make us feel like we're right there with this outrageous young lady having fun being sexy flirting etc um, one more shot uh, this is this is a newer shot uh, looking up like this. Look at again. Look at the lighting. Look how poppy the lighting is. Look at the sh look at the highlight on the lips. Uh, one thing Ellen likes to do is a clamshell thing. It's something I I, I do as well, often. And the 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 bigger the lights that you have, or the or, or the bigger the bank of lights that you have. One of my favorites is to put four. Uh, one, two, three, four small umbrellas right ac around my. Uh, lens and have those all go off with the model very close and you get this unbelievably bright light and notice how it wraps around without fill how do I know there's no fill because there's no fill on the arm this is just all focus light either clamshell or multiple strobes right around there's no highlights there for me to tell except the amazing highlight in the lips there yeah, so, uh, Ellen Von Unworth, if you're not familiar with her, uh, you should be. An amazing photographer. She changed fashion for everybody. Well, no, not everybody. There's still some people who like to make their models China dolls. But for, for the rest of us, she changed it and gave us real women sure of themselves doing outrageous things and not apologizing for it. So, Ellen Von Unworth, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy the show. Listen, if you like these little things that I'm doing, and like I say, these are not uh, the, the top photo photographers in the world. I mean, there's some top photographers that I will not be mentioning in this series, but I'm going to take us through 52 images, uh, or 52 photographers, that, uh, that really moved me uh, in my career and stuff that I looked looked at and looked up. I don't know uh, if I've mentioned this before in some of the other ones, but uh, in in 1988, I was receiving 15 
fashion magazines a, a month. Fifteen. I got everything. I got French Vogue, Italian Vogue, American Vogue, Italian Bazaar. I could go through a list of them, but I got them all, and I and I studied them like crazy. I was a, a, trying to be a fashion photographer, which was actually one of the stupidest things I've ever done. I'll tell you about that sometimes, but someday. But uh, if you're trying to be a fashion photographer, and you live in Phoenix or Tulsa or Albuquerque or you know somewhere like that. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you're probably making the same mistakes I did. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button. That way you get to see them first. Uh, the bell, I don't know. I don't do the bell. Bell's annoying. I don't do the bell on anybody. I wouldn't ask you to do it on me. Notice that I have no ads on this. If you do see an ad on this, rest assured, Google put it there. Not me. I don't charge for my stuff. I'm just having fun. I hope you're having fun. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you next time.